Hello and welcome to Tykes TV. We've got two guests on today. We've got Ertz on and Caleb. Uh, we've been on before, uh, so it's great that you can take your time out and join us. Great to have you on. Well, uh, we're coming to you first, Ertz. I mean, his last, you know, own fixture is in the league. I know we've got playoffs, but Peterborough, um, I know we're far apiece at weekend. You know, we're far one down and we come back. <sighs> well, how can you see this going, mate, Ertz? I mean, Bounds need to win. Peterborough need to win. Um, confidence in it. Yeah, it's the thing is just Barnsley don't play good away, and they play good at home, so they might win. Yeah, good good point. I mean, Caleb. I mean, just what Ace was saying there. His own record at Oak, well, pretty good. Um, picked up. I mean, compared to last season, I mean, it's been some of wins and victories and goals being scored and all. How do you see you going on uh, on Sunday, uh, Caelan? Well, it won't be an easy game because they're pushing for playoffs and mm. we just need to keep our spot. <clears throat> but I think they'll put a fight in, but we we definitely will. But our home record has been good and we've been playing well. So I think it should be an hard game, but I think we, we'll just put them. An hard game, but we'll push him. Uh, so, I mean, coming back to you, we've just been talking off air, mate. I mean, Peterborough do need to win, and Derby, you know, have got to lose. So, Peter are going to be going for it. So, it, it's got potential to be a, an, an attacking game by Peterborough. So, we need to be switched on, don't we, at back? Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Cause they have got some all right players, and they're pushing for playoffs. So, they they will give us a game. Do you think that Peterborough uh, will be coming to Oakwell thinking we've got no to lose as such, we need to just score goals? So you'd be looking, I know that there's uh, rumours going about that Mads Anderson might not be fit, you know, he's picked up a bit of a niggle. So you're looking at our defence, <sighs> we need to be like switched on, don't we, Ertz? Yeah, because they'll be shooting from everywhere. So we need some good people at back. Good people at bat. I mean, Cale, I'm coming to you, mate. I mean, just what Ace was saying here, we need to be some good defenders at back. We need to be switched on. We need to be a bit quicker and a bit sharper at back and all, I think, uh, Cale. Because, like, against, you know I mean, against MK Dons, they were attacking and we sent to be a bit slow to second ball at the time, Cale. Yeah, we just stood and watched. And then when they got next to the net, that's when they started pushing. Mm -hmm. Um. I think I don't think our midfielders was covering defence really well as well. Yeah, that's a good point. I mean, just on that, Caleb, I mean, I know Luke Connell were out, he picked up a bit of a bug on that, but again, in, in defensive midfielder kind of thing, it, it sent a bit slow tracking back and picking the man up, didn't they? Um I know they scored some goals and were cutting in, but what what got me is on, I think it I forgot what it was now, but on outside of the box he hit it well, and I think if a defensive midfielder had been able to close him down, I think Luke Connell would have closed him down. Do you think that's what we're missing in midfield, that bit of a bit more sharpness? Caelan? Well, Con Connell, like, he's been doing well, but <clears throat> I think the midfielders, that come, they should be able to deal without him, but last game it just didn't seem like it. it seemed like they mm. needed him. Yeah. Needed him. I mean, uh, it's, um I've been looking on uh, on news and stuff like that, and Luke Connell has been back in training, so it looks like he will be, as will Adam Phillips. So again, two, two. I'd say in players that have been missed throughout the season, um, <clears throat> Luke Connell brings that bit of quality to you know uh, midfield. Adam Phillips has been uh, scoring some goals as well, and as well as what we need to be looking at for Peterborough, they're attacking. We need to be on our attacking uh, point as well. I know we like went 1-0 and we were losing 4-1, but what impressed me was when um, uh, Max Waters came on. He sent to take bull bite on and he, he sent to that bit more of a goal threat. I think that's what we've been missing. Um, can, you, can you agree on that, uh, Ertz? Yeah, I think we've been missing a, a good striker that can put ball in back at net all time. And sometimes the strikers just miss um, back at net easier. And they need to take them chances. If they took them chances, we could be 
we could have got automatic. Yeah, yeah, good point. Would you be starting with Max Waters? Um, Ertz, he came off at bench and got scored a couple of goals. Would you be starting him? Uh, yeah. Yeah, starting, I, yeah. I'd drop the Vanti call and leave Norwood on. So you'd have Norwood and Max Waters up front? Yeah. Oh, good shout, good shout. Caleb, I mean, coming to you, mate, I mean, I, I agree with what Ace is saying. I think with Max Waters already came on off at bench, he's sent to be fired up for it. I think him and Norwood could have, uh, you know, cause uh, Peter be defence a bit of an handful. Would you Would you keep that or would you Would you have a different uh, front to uh, Caleb? I'd have the same, but I wouldn't do that like every match because the Vanticola Levant- and Norwood, they're just... They work together well up front, but <clears throat> I haven't probably seen Waters and that would do it. You know that, yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to think uh, if they've started started off playing together. I know they've had a, it's been chopped and changed about a bit up front. So yeah, I get I get where you're coming from on that. I mean, going back to your works, I mean, Caelan just said yeah, which was a good point because I mean. We were all calling for Tedich at one point as well to be starting, but I think we what I think what Barnsley fans have seen is that when Duff made the substitutions against MK Dons, it seemed to change the game. So do you think that players who was on bench are wanting to be fighting to get into starting eleven knowing that there's a potential, you know, two fine front, but potential Wembley place at state? Do you think they want it even more? Uh yeah. Yeah. Um, Caelan, I mean, you look at from back to front now, you can look at Harry Ishted, you know, Mads Anderson, all being well, you know, he's not going to get risks, but we can save him for playoffs if need be. But going all the way through, do you think that players should be really staking the claim and saying, yeah, I want to play in this playoff semi final and playoff final, all being well if it goes his way? Do you think you'll see a, a change in players being more fired up for it? Well, there'll be some players that is wanting to, but I don't. It'll be hard to get that spot because our normal starting lineup is solid, and there's not really many goals being conceded. But like last game, it went our full lineup, but so conceded a mm. bit. Didn't it? Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, we made a made a few changes because for a few injuries, mm. but. It affected as I've played. I get where you're coming from on that, yeah. Uh, I think the pleasing thing for me, and uh, I'll go to X on this, I think the pleasing thing for me is that we showed character. We showed... I think if it had been last season, we'd have been 4-1 down, it'd have been that, it'd have been it, we'd have just get up. But I think the pleasing thing for me uh, it's on this, well, we're at 4-1 down, substitutes were made, but right until the final whistle, then we were going to attack and try and win the game. Um and again, that's what you want as a as a football team, and it to be, you know, you you uh, you know you you'll play football as well. Is that you keep on going and all being well, you can all you know hopefully nick a winner. So it's never over, is it? You you keep going until end, mate. Yeah, never never give up. Never give up and always keep you know keep faith and keep belief in it. So keep attacking, you know, because you never know. It only takes a second to score a goal. So. Caleb, going to you, mate. I mean, we're getting back to Peterborough. Uh, but, you know, spirit and everything's going to be there. I think Michael Duff said a full week with him training. Uh, they had a midweek game. Last game, obviously, on Sunday at midday kickoff. We kind of agreed what, you know, what Ertz has said. We start with players up front and like what you've said, Via, it'd be really see them start together kind of thing. Apart from that, would you make any more changes, Caleb, in, in starting 11 or would you? Try and keep the, the the strongest squad that you can going into this game. Well, I won't do loads of changes because it's not really a, an important game. We just need to stand up to them and just need to keep our spot. We need mm-hmm. to fight for where we are. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, get points on that. Don't take any unnecessary risk and don't pick up any injuries or silly bookings. What could potentially release an art? And yeah, I get where you're coming from with that. Um, I think with it being end, his last home game at season, I can see, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping, that the players will go out with a performance and keep us fans happy. Um, it's coming to you then, mate. I mean, 
score prediction. Um, I know we said off air, like, but now recording. Uh, what what are you going for your score prediction? 4 0. 4 0, Barnsley. Uh, Caleb, what are you going for, mate? I think 3 1, Barnsley. Oh, we're nearly. That's a 3 0. Uh, so I think we all can agree that we're going to score goals, all being well, uh, you know, and the football season on a high, <clears> his <throat> last home game. In the football league, I mean, we've got the playoffs, but be a nice send off for fans, um, you know, and is, is keep his own record going. Now, before we end this stream, you know, uh, we've agreed that about you know how we played and score predictions. I'll come to your wets. Uh, who's been your? I know there's like still uh, playoffs and that to go, but who's been your or player or players who stood out for you this season? Who'll be your number one? Ets? Uh, Norwood. James Norwood. Yeah. And uh, why is that? Uh, is it is scoring goals? Was brought to team? It's why he's brought to team. Is is like a defensive attacking kind of person. He does tracking back and that as well. So mm -hmm. and he presses well. Yeah, good shout with that, mate. Uh, yeah, good shout. I mean, he came in as a free transfer. Um, he's brought that bit of experience and uh, football knowledge and help uh, others out. His work rate right off the ball, like you said, said via dropping back, scoring goals, important goals, and his all, all togetherness work rate. Right. I think it's a benefited team. So good shout on that, mate. Caleb, who's been your player or players? What's like really stood out? Who's been your number one? Harry Eistead. Eistead. Okay, okay. And what's the reason for that, then, mate? What, what's made you come for him? Well, since he came, I had I had seen many goals conceded as we would. Um, he's just stood out and against Ipswich, I think that pen that I saved, I think that's when he mm -hmm. came to my mind. So that's okay. Interesting, interesting calls. Um, I were a bit torn me between a couple of players. I mean, there's been a lot of players what said some good seasons, uh, improved seasons as well. Um, I'm going to go. I said Mad Anderson up until probably a couple of games ago. And I know he made League One player of the season uh, in the EFL, but I'm going to go Luke O'Connell. Um, I think he's coming to that midfield. He came in as a free transfer and people. I had a, I had a Bolton Town uh, friend called Dave Jones. He tell me about Luke Connell saying he was a, a right player and fitting well, and he has done. And I think when he's been out at side, we've missed him. I think he also makes, and I, I'm not really sure if it was Caleb or Ertz who said it a couple of weeks ago, that when Luke Connell plays well, Herbie Kane plays well as well, and they work well together. Um, and again, I could say Mad Anderson. I think Liam Kitchens had an improved season from last season because, you know, you, I'm looking at players as well. When they got relegated for, you know, how they've played. Um, Herbie Kane, again, another player that's done well. James Norwood, again, a player that's come into the side. Free transfer, never really seen him play in a red shirt, but he has done, and he's done it, you know, marvellous. Just what uh, Harry did, he came in on, on loan. Um, unfortunately for Brad Collins, that he, he, you know, he, he went out, but Harris came in and he's more or less made that spot his, his own. And it's unfortunate for Brad, but it's worked out for Harry. So, again, interesting call that we've all said players, what I picked up on, we've all said players that, that you know, they weren't weird last season. James Norwood, Luca Connell, and Harry, Harry instead. So, and again, full, full credit to such as like Liam Kitchen. Uh, Jordan Williams, Herbie Kane, Devante Cole, you know, uh, he's had on and off, but he's scored some goals. So he could go through like uh, a lot of players, but uh, we're going for a goalkeeper, going for a striker, and then going for a midfielder. So there's only someone, if we had another fourth person, we might have gone for a defender, so we'd have covered all areas, and won't we? But uh, great, great shouts. Uh, Ertz, thanks for joining me, mate. I've appreciated it, and uh, have you taken your player at season. Caleb, yeah. uh, I'd like to thank you as well for taking your time out and joining me and giving your thoughts about stuff. Um, and yeah, everybody that's been watching, please like, subscribe and share. Let us know your score predictions. Let us know, know your player at season who stood out 
might be a tough call. I mean, there has been some players, that, a couple of players that's been, uh, you know, up there in a month state. So, yeah, Ertz and Caleb, appreciate it. Thanks for joining me. Uh, all being well, we can have a, a winner on Sunday. So, one thing left to say, you Reds. <laughs>